Okay, so I've cleaned this panel off. Um, just give me some working area. And uh, you can see here's this last piece I want to remove all the way over to this piece. And what I want to do is I want to come up straight up from here, have a piece that comes like this, go out of maybe a 45 degree angle, some kind of an angle here, go across the top of this, come straight across and come down just to the left of that mounting bracket hole there, but to be able to catch that as well. So I think what I'll do is. Okay, so there's the pattern I'm going to cut out, and you know this is different than what I did on the floor, which is still missing. Um, the difference between this one is I'm going to cut out the actual body panel and use this cutout as my pattern, transfer that to the new piece, and then move it on. So it's just the opposite of what I did on the inside. But let's, let me get this cut out. All right, no turning back now. Someone's got to fix that hole. But I tell you, that's going to give me a nice pattern. It's, you know, it's a, it's a flat piece. Uh, it's got this lip on the bottom. And I've got a scrap piece that's actually got that lip as well. And I'm going to use that as my... Uh, just drop this on there as a pattern. See if I can get a piece that'll fit in there. That wasn't too bad. Look at all that rust. Not only rusted through here, but just really super thin here. Crawl down through there, so gonna get rid of it okay so now I gotta figure out how to make a piece like this so the neat thing is it's flat it's gonna be very simple from that perspective it does have this little lip that comes down and it's not 90 degrees it's actually less than or greater than 90 so um, my challenge will be to get that bend in there I think I got it figured out I bought I went to a sheet metal shop and bought a large piece of sheet metal it's cold rolled 18 gauge it's the same gauge as what I'm replacing and I've cut off this piece that's uh, relatively the right size this will be able to come out like this and uh, the keys are gonna make that bend and I've got plenty of opportunity if I don't make the bend right I can cut it off and try again um, my first thought is should I try and just bend it to the right length if I can get if I can grab just that much make a bend and make it perfect I'm gonna try that first if not I'll actually chalk up maybe an inch, bend it, and then, and then recut it. But I'm going to try and avoid that situation. So I've also bought some angle irons. I'm going to get this all set up and see if I can get uh, get this bend in there the way I like it. So let's get that set up. Okay, so here's what I've come up with. I've got the two angle irons in my vise. I've slid this. i marked this. I'm going to go try and do that small, just a one quarter inch. I'm going to try and leave that. I got it sunk down in there one quarter inch. I'm going to try and bend this. Not only do I have a vise, but I've added a couple clamps on the end. Kind of like a homemade press break but um, we're gonna see how this works I'm, later on I may actually use these pieces I just picked these up uh, at a metal store as well these are these are one and a half inch angle iron that's quarter inch thick pretty stout stuff and I had them cut two of them at two feet long 24 inches so I may end up turning this into a better type of press break for right now this thing's gonna work perfect so let's just see what Okay, this is not giving me what I'm wanting. Uh, number one, this is the panel that you're going to see out there, and I can do body work on all, but I'm really actually doing a lot of damage just denting this up for no real reason. I really need to be, and I can cut this off and start again. I got plenty of room. 
I really need to be chalking the piece I want to say, the, the side panel in this unit and then just beating on the pieces lipped underneath because that can be uh, straightened out best it can in that. So I need to re be not hitting on what's going to be the side but be beating on the other piece. So let me get this chopped off and let's start again. Okay, so here's the different approach is I just flip this piece of this panel upside down and I'm going to attempt to bend the other side. Instead of bending the piece that will end up being the, the side of the Jeep, I'm going to bend the piece that's the bottom lip. It doesn't have to be as perfect. I want to try and preserve the pieces be aside. I don't do too much body work on that. So I'm going to just try and lightly Alright, that worked so much better. This is actually really relatively straight and I've not destroyed uh, the actual side panel. So I'm going to continue. I think I need to go a little more on my angle and um, let's try and finish this up and get it. Man, it's already really actually pretty straight. Let me go a little more with it for the angle. Okay, so that's the perfect angle, and I really like the way this turned out. This was the much better approach how to do this, so I learned a big lesson. And uh, But I did leave a lot hanging out here when I bent it over, so this is too long. I think before I take it out of this jig, I'm actually going to cut it off. So I'm going to measure the actual overall width from the original piece. I'll scribe that on here, and I think I'll cut this with a zip-off wheel uh, right here on this jig. So let me get that all worked out. Okay, so there we have the first draft of our first patch panel. And you know what? That thing was not that hard to build. This turned out really well. Let me show you over here where when I first started I chalked up the small piece and was hammering that. That is just all bent out of shape. That was the piece you want to make look nice. When I switched my approach on that and actually chalked up the side piece and just bent this. And this turned out super nice. So that was really a better approach. I'm glad I actually went to the trouble of uh, swapping that out. Um, I have already ground this down so I got all the burrs off of it. I'm going to go test fit it, make sure it fits. But you know, it's a bit of advantage having two die grinders. I got this one with a cutoff wheel. I got this one set up with a grinder on it so I can cut off and then grind smooth, whatever. This is actually one I picked up from a buddy of mine. He was throwing it out because the button here had uh, messed up where you lock it. So I actually did a video on how to fix these. This is old Harbor Freight. Um, I believe a Harbor Freight, Chicago Electric. I think that's Harbor Freight. Uh, where I fix that. I'll put a link up top if you're interested in stuff like that. But I picked this up for free, made it where I can put this thing on there, just leave this on here until this is gone. I don't, I don't have to change it that often, but I got a way to do it. It's really nice to have the right tools. There, there's something to say about that. So, anyway, go back. Let's go fit, test fit this and see uh, how close we are. I think we might be a little long. Okay, it wasn't too far off. I got a little uh, extra piece right there I got to take off. It just it wasn't straight, so that, that makes sense there. A little there, I got to release some right in on, along this edge, and then I'm going to shorten the whole piece just a little bit on this edge, and we'll be good. Let's get that done. With just that little bit of trimming, this thing fits perfect. I got a little bit of a gap everywhere, and I think that's what I want. Just allow it to expand, that type of stuff. I, 
this is the first piece I'm trying to do so I'm trying to learn from all this experience so um, I do have it clamped right where I want it and uh, I think I'm ready to start doing some tack welding get this thing uh, ease into place. It's good and flush on both ends which is what I want and like I said it's got already got the little gap there for expansion so let's see if we can get this thing tacked in. Hey, look at that. Got that piece in. Um, moved around a bunch, so try not to put too much heat in it. Seems to have stayed straight. Next, I've got to grind all this off. And again, I'm going to take, I'm going to move around quite a bit. I don't want to put too much heat in the panel. This is a flat panel. I've got to try and keep it flat. But um, it worked out really nice. And when I look at the back side, a few of these spot welds did not do very well on penetration. But uh, interestingly, a lot of times I'll see where on the back side you'll have a bunch of the little stick outs where the the uh, wire fed is there. There's none of that on the other side. It's all pretty clean there. Just a few of the areas didn't get full penetration. I'm not going to worry about that. I'm actually going to, I will smooth the back side and uh, fiberglass that as well. But let me start working on getting this ground down so we can see what it looks like. Okay, so that patch is all in place. Um, very fortunate after I ground all this down. I didn't have any pinholes, but I did have a section over here about three quarters of an inch long. It was like a crack. And it was on the outside of the section where I welded. And it just, as I ground down more and more, it just wouldn't go away. So I ended up patching that back together and then grind everything down. Um, got a little bit of a relief in there, and that's where basically I'll, it gives me a little bit of room to put some fiberglass filler. We'll do that uh, down the road. Um, it's been quite a while since I've uploaded a video, so I'm going to get all this assembled and uh, get this thing up so I can get something to post. And then uh, what we'll do next time is we'll move inside on this passenger side and we'll get that floorboard finished up as well as the brace that goes right inside of this area. So we'll see about more of that next time. Jack it up.